Rayplex has all the material you will need for your carbon fiber projects. Clear epoxy laminating resin, carbon fiber in both plain weave and twill, pigments to tint the epoxy resin, mixing containers for accurate ratio measuring of the resin and hardener, mixers for the drill and mixing sticks for hand mixing. All of this material is available at www.rayplex.ca. Uh, coating surfaces with carbon fiber is a very popular um, item today. And a lot of people are enjoying making little products for the cars, their uh, dune buggies, motorcycles, etc. What we'd like to show you today is how to coat an object with carbon fiber. And here we have a piece of MDF. Now we're going to put a black surface coat on so that the color doesn't show through in the carbon fiber, but also I want to show you how using sharp edges, how it can be difficult to get around the corner. So if you're making a project, you want to look and make sure that your edges are, uh, if they're sharp, you're going to have a lot of difficulty, but if they're nice and rounded, they're going to be quite easy to get around. You'll see this when we get into the laminating of this product and using carbon fiber and putting it on and you can see how it just flows over nicely. But sharp edges are very, very difficult to get it over. Hi. This is an example of our Rayplex 282 epoxy, the tabletop material, that's been mixed and we've colored it. This was a runoff, but it turned out to be a mistake because it was not properly mixed. It only got hand mixed for about 30 seconds. And you can see how flexible it is. And it's not even going to break. This is not good. Also, you can see, you can stick your thumb into it and you can leave marks on it. So if your epoxy turns out and it's soft, it's probably the result of improper mixing. Here is, again, our Rayplex 282 with a white color pigment in it, and you can see how hard it is. If I push hard enough, that's going to break. You can't dig your finger into it. It's a solid, hard thing. You could use this for a tabletop, cut on it, anything you wanted to do there. And here's another example of the 282 in clear. You can see it's very, very hard. If I push it hard enough, it'll probably break. Rayplex recommends mixing epoxy for a minimum of two minutes using some a form of mechanical mixing using a paint mixer. You'll find this listed on our mix and measure section on our website. We're now ready to coat or put on the base coat on our wood product here. And we've mixed up our 282 epoxy uh, tabletop with our number 701 uh, black color pigment. The next morning, Here's our finished part that's sat and cured overnight, and now we're going to sand it. You can see it's fully cured and hardened up, and the sandpaper just just takes the uh, creates a powder without much difficulty. And for the corners, I'm going to hand sand them. You just need to get a, a glaze, remove the glaze. Oops, I went through in one spot there. Okay, our part is now ready for uh, laminating to put the um, um, carbon fiber on. Okay, here's our piece ready to go. We've blown it off, wiped it off, and we've pre-cut our carbon fiber to go on top here. 
First, we're gonna start with just brushing a coat of resin on here. One of the reasons for that is that you wanna force resin up through the fabric rather than down. It just makes fabricating a lot easier. Now we'll take our piece of carbon fiber, just bring it up to the edge, fold it over. You see you get that beautiful twill look. Now we're going to saturate it from the top in. Of course the resin that been we put on has been forced up through there. You can still see the air in the resin, but it'll come out later. Now, we're going to start working the edges. Now you can see that's a relatively sharp radius, which is probably about a quarter of an inch. Get out of there. That's a good Now you see how nicely that big corner, the material just folded over. Now, it's handy to have a nice pair of sharp scissors around for trimming, and you'll see this in a second. We're going to trim off the excess. Now we can start to work our corner in. Fabric will pull, and you can quite often just pull where the overlaps are out. Takes a little bit of work. There we go. The bigger the corner, the easier it is. See how it's wrapped around nicely? This is a big corner here. See how nice that went around? Just fold it right in. Again, the bigger the corner, the easier it is to wrap around. Unfortunately, I um, cut this piece a little short, but that's okay. Having a sharp pair of scissors around is handy. These again are available on our web store. Large overhangs can be problematic, and the reason is, over time, they will pucker, and you'll get, your part will actually pull away. It's just part of the way fabrics are made that causes this problem. Again, I should mention there's different types of carbon fiber out. This is a twill, and it's usually one of the easiest to uh, get the air out of and to move around. Okay, let's run the heat gun over this. I prefer to use heat guns versus torches just because of the safety. A live flame with chemicals could develop into a disaster in very short order. Once epoxy gets warm, it tends to release the air. 
There you have a beautiful finish. Now, you can still see the pattern if you look across the surface. You can see that it could stand for just a little bit more resin. It's better to have it drip off because then you know you've got a nice level coat on there. And the sides, always, the resin will run off there. We've got no fix, fix agents in there. Because we're looking for optical clarity here. Okay, here's our second coat. And I've run the heat gun over it. And you can see it's all nicely cleared up. It's ready for ready to cure off now. Beautiful surface finish on there. I don't know whether I can get the camera to pick this up. It's crystal clear. Application of carbon fiber. And now we're going to put on its sur final surface coat and to give it that gloss. We've blown it off very carefully. Wiped it down to get all the dust off. I should mention that it's quite easy to turn around and um, fix any spots you get. The, the, uh, the resin here works wonderful for that. Again, you can still see we've, the air bubbles that are in the, the mix from the previous from mixing. The crystal clear coat on it, it's now just totally clear and it's all come out to a beautiful finish on top. We'll see this when it hardens up. In closing, check out our YouTube channel for more videos on composites and fiberglass. Hope you've enjoyed this video, so please subscribe. If you have any comments about this video, or would like to suggest topics for future videos, drop us a line at www.fiberglass.com.